You suck. That one guy can't yell in the spirit. Hey, hey at least I know you can't pay me. You can't pay me. That's all that meant. You can't pay me. You suck. <laughs> oh, dude. So trash, bro. Alright, GG's, you know what I'm saying? I had to try hard in WrestleMania, you feel me? I can't get beat by a scrub. Is that he knew I was gonna be here? He's so trash, dog. And I clicked it. I'm gonna show Jerry's too. <laughs> Did, I'm up on you, you could not pin. You could not pin me for nothing. You suck. <laughs> KO is a bailout. <laughs> also, uh, I'm just gonna stop playing 19 with y'all. If y'all not gonna put me in 20, we just not gonna play at all. <laughs> that's a bailout. J I'm up. I'm up on you by three. You up by me by two. No, J three. Cause I, I don't count KOs. It's a bailout. J. Oh my God. I'm not counting KO. You count your little two bitches. I'm not counting KO. <laughs> if you didn't you pin me it. or make me tap out, you didn't beat me. Oh, if you if you, or better yet, if you didn't climb to uh get no briefcase, put me through a table, pin me or make me tap out, you didn't beat me. <laughs> You can't say GG, you better than me. Do that. I am better than you. No, you can't say it. Are you just say I'm better than you? I'm You're not better than legit. This is how you play. You have to talk to my dog. Steve. That was like, what, eight matches you just played? I don't know. <laughs> Go to private yeah, lobby now. Shit, that shit was hilarious. <sighs> Hate trash niggas, dog. <laughs> Why do you have to play this? Like, you know how to play the game. Why do you have to put cheap shit on? Because <laughs> that guy, he does a lot of damage, so it's not that hard to KO you. <laughs> and on top, of, yeah, yeah, you suck. I knew I was gonna KO you, dude. I was like, when you kicked out, I ain't split the count the second time, but I wasn't worried. I, knew I was gonna KO you. What kind of match is this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about it. Hmm. It's the KO is still on. What is the difference about no heart, no hold, no holds bars match and extreme rules match? No hearts is basically like an I quit match. Okay, so what's the difference between no holds bars and I quit? You said what? So what's the difference between no hold bars and I quit? They're the same match, just in a different name. How do you make someone quit? Have you played that match before? Yeah, I, I played it in 13. That was the last time I played it. Uh, they got to be beat right. up real bad. What is this? <laughs> bro, it's a KO match, but I'm not playing you in this match, bro. Oh, this is a KO match? What the yes, fuck? Yes, that's what a back, backstage brawl is. I didn't know that. I can adjust. Don't you... I should another steel cage match. That was fun. I'm not playing the rest of my name. I already beat you. Or can I beat your ass man too, punk? Shut up. <laughs> but All I was right. that was my first game on that. I wasn't even trying. You know what happens when I get warmed up. I just showed you. They say he trying. I wasn't even trying when I beat you. Yeah, All the time I really tried. To, uh... All right. Yeah, you want to beat me WrestleMania. What hey, what is May Young? Classic. I don't know. Well, let's play in that arena.
That would be Roman Reigns. That would pull out his trunk card. Not really. Ready up, nigga? Is he gonna ready up? Oh. What do you have, Move Thief? You really trying to embarrass me? Huh? That's what I put on, I... bruh. <laughs> oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> Dude, what you thought you were gonna put a finisher on? Yeah, never mind, it don't matter. I ain't gonna tell you what I was gonna do. I'll just save it for another time where I really need it. There's a lot of pride on me. Well, the know. door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. You said Ed said it was all. It is. They don't like to escape. You can climb up, but they're not gonna like to escape. Oh my god, well, that'll break you in half. Boom! What? Oh, oh, what a similar I mean, drop! Is that the counter from my irreversible neck breaker? <laughs> Shut up. Believe in Roman. Suplex! <laughs> Alright. Well, so so my game just crashed. Get it? Shut up. I ain't seen that nigga. I stopped talking. I might not have no more reversals, but history was yeah. with Roman Reigns in the 32nd WrestleMania no in That's Dallas, your ass. Texas. The big dog was on the hunt that night and ass. defeated Triple H to become the WWE champion uh -huh. in front on, of guy. more than 100,000 screaming dog. members of Believe the WWE bit, universe. On that night, Reigns would uh, not be denied. Now I'm being humble, I'm being humble, my bad, I ain't gonna say that, I'm being humble. Any time a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the conflict between Triple H and Whoa. Roman Reigns was so intense that the only place the differences could be settled was WrestleMania. The odds were against Roman Reigns in every possible way at the 32nd Showcase of the Immortals. The game Triple H was ready to take Reigns down once and for all, but the big dog it's Roman Reigns putting together here. What? <laughs> How the fuck did I reverse that with no reversal? <laughs> I reversed that with no reversal. Oh Bro, my god. Yeah. Combatants clashing inside the steel cage is its battle of attrition. <laughs> I, I hate this fucking game. No I hate this fucking game. Fight fire with fire and yes, do it's whatever not. Night. To do There's a reason people don't play this game anymore. But sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do. God, this game is so broken. I thought 20 was broken. This could be it. Come on, baby. Fire the slam! That changes the entire complexion of this match. You don't lost that your was an easy that kick out for Roman. Way too early. This might be it. All right, oh, now I can't get up. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. The rivalry between Same Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude, Rude began during the Super Bowl. <laughs> now, the that's 1989 the only reason Royal Rumble, you know that's the most superstars boy. battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam '90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE yeah. Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from okay. the cage. Double underhook suplex. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event oh at 1990 God, SummerSlam. Uh, the rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing one was so right, heated up, that no one knew what to expect once the two men the were able to battle inside. Of Here he goes. Superman punch! <laughs> get up! Get him up! He's in complete control now. You gotta believe this one's a move! This just might be enough for him to take the victory. He goes for the cover. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 
15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high red district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983. Jimmy Superfly Snow. Oh my God. This match has been 100 mile per hour since the opening bell. Hook two, hook two. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, oh my God. It's a and drop. Hooked up. Mention of Gucci. Oh, okay. Absolutely planted. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs oh, of letting up. And one more Superman punch. punch. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Will this be enough? You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Remarkable. Boom, oh, what impact. Looking for the finish. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Harsh impact. And a pin attempt. Can you believe this battle's not over yet? How in the world? <laughs> Go to sleep, player. He's there. Who's there? Believe in Roman. Believe in Roman. Believe in Roman. Believe in Roman. Uh, I'm believe in my Roman done, Empire. Man. I told you, man. You knew when I picked Roman, it was over. It was like you said, it's my trump card. <laughs> man, you got lucky. You got I ain't get lucky. I beat your ass the whole match. That's what happened. I raped you. I raped